Hey, I'm Paul with Epson. And I'm Vince from DTF Station. Today, we're at Epson HQ, showing you how to set up the Epson G6070 with the Miro 36 shaker. The G6070 delivers great DTF prints, and paired with the right shaker dryer, your curing and powdering is fully covered. Let's walk through setup, operation, and daily maintenance. Let's jump in. For starters, the Miro 36 is 110 volt power and uses two plugs. Turn on the machine here, then push the screen to access your controls. From here, you can adjust the paddle speed. We recommend five. Turn the fan on or off, set the front and mate heater temperatures, switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, or reset to factory defaults under advanced settings. Note, the front heating refers to the long plate that your printer will touch as it comes out of the printer. This front plate allows the printer to put more white ink down on the film. This temperature is set to 60 degrees by default, but can be adjusted. The main heater is what actually cooks your film and is the main chamber. The default temperature is 280 degrees but may need to be adjusted depending on your film and powder. That's why we recommend using Color Prime, which is specifically formulated for this machine. Another thing to note is that when the lid is on, the Miro 36 is open, the paddle, heat, and takeup reel will automatically stop. This is an important safety feature. Always start with a nozzle check on the G6070. Clean nozzles mean clean prints. Now line up the front of the heater with the printer. Use the guide marks to align the film path, then lock the shaker in place. Adjust the media rod to match your film width, not too tight, as you may need to tweak it later. Start your print, then pause it once the film reaches the front heater. Note, the main heater should not be on at this point. Now feed the film into the shaker, clamp it, and close the lid. Turn on the main heater, then resume printing. Once the film starts collecting inside the powder station, make sure to add powder. Close the lid, and then set your paddle speed. Turn on the purifier fan, pull the film forward to the takeup reel, guide it through the tension rod, and tape it down. As you print, keep an eye out on print quality, powder levels, and film tension. Here's an extra tip, make sure to fill your printed film. It should have an orange peel texture. If not, bump up the main heat by 10 degrees. Once printing is done, let the film pass the front heater. Cut it using the G6070 cutter and hold it manually. Then feed it fully into the shaker and manually guide the film out to avoid sacking. Turn off the motor and remove the finish roll. End of day maintenance on the Miro 36 is a must. For starters, empty out your powder and store it in the original bag. Run the fan for five minutes to cool and vent excess oil. Once cool, wipe with 90% isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Then clean around the fans and remove the filters. Swap out these filters daily to extend their shelf life. Looks like we have a smooth production-ready combo. That's right. Thanks to DTF Station for stopping by. 
For more information, visit us online at dtfstation.com. Thank you to Epson for having us. Let's, Let's have, have fun, fun printing. printing.